right now on Earwolf. You are cordially invited to the wedding of Jaquise Neal on The Kingdom on Stitcher Premium. Jaquise is preparing for his wedding, and Edgar is trying to stop it. For more, follow at Earwolf on social media. Happy listening. This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by How To with John Wilson. Documentary filmmaker and self-described anxious New Yorker John Wilson serves as writer, director, cameraman, producer, and narrator of the all-new HBO docu-comedy series How To with John Wilson in a uniquely hilarious odyssey of self-discovery and cultural observation. Wilson films the lives of his fellow New Yorkers while attempting to give everyday advice on relatable topics. How To with John Wilson and HBO Original is streaming October 23rd on HBO Max. Hey everyone, it's Scott Ackerman, your old buddy, host of Comedy Bang Bang. You know, if you want to listen to Comedy Bang Bang without ads and get access to our older episodes, all of the older episodes that are so classic, well, there's... I'm sorry, there's just no way to do that. Ah, uh, except... By signing up for Stitcher Premium. That's right. Just go to stitcherpremium.com or the premium tab in your Stitcher app and sign up with the promo code CBB to get a free month of premium listening. You get ad-free listening to Comedy Bang Bang, all your favorite Earwolf and Stitcher shows, plus our full episode archive and your premium subscription helps support us and the show directly too. That's stitcherpremium.com, promo code CBB, for a free month of Stitcher Premium. Thanks! I know a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, but can you please let all those crows out of your pants while we're eating? Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Well, 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 thank you to son of Shampoodler. Oh, my goodness. Shampoodler, congratulations. Wow. Good tidings are upon us because uh, catchphrase superstar Shampoodler apparently had a baby. And uh, that baby is uh, already a catchphrase savant, is already uh, sending us catchphrases. Thank you so much, son of Shampoodler, and best to your entire family, and best to uh, all of the families of all of the listeners listening to this, and all of the non-listeners not listening to this, all families across the world. Good tidings to all. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. My name is Scott Ackerman. I am the host of Comedy Bang Bang, and this, of course, is Humanities Podcast formerly America's podcast until we realized that was too reductive and uh, not fair to our uh, friends in other countries and on other continents. Um, Humanities podcast, that does not include aliens. So if you are an alien uh, who is hidden amongst us and living as a human or uh, as far as we know, as a plant, as a potted plant somewhere, or, you know, I don't know if these aliens can shapeshift into anything they want to be or just something humanoid. In any case, uh, uh, this podcast is not for you. Not for you. So please turn it off. Um, but for the rest of you, please leave it on. And uh, let's uh, leave it on until the end of this show, because we have an amazing show for you today. It's a special time when these three gentlemen come visit us. Um, we've been talking to them for years and years. I want to say perhaps eight years or so. And we have chronicled their adventures ever since they are the owners and proprietors. And you know, some people are just proprietors of the businesses that they proprietate. Uh, they do not own the actual thing, but these guys own it. Some people own businesses and they just leave it to others to run the businesses. But these three gentlemen own and are the proprietors of, of the Calvin's B, nope, sorry, of the Calvin's family, Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch. Please welcome back to the show Chico Hands, Bever Hopox, and Bisbee St. Hancock, aka the Calvin's Triplets. Hello, gentlemen. Scott Lee! Ho ho! Scott Lee! <laughs> oh boy, am I happy to be here with you. I'm feeling frick frapple, candy apple, dibble dapple. Wendy from Snapple, exuberant joy to be back in your presence. 
Oh, my goodness. This, this of course, is Bever Hopox, and uh, I would love to hear a greeting from all three of you. Why don't we go to Chico Hands next? Scotty! <laughs> Scotty Ackerman! So great to see and hear you. Been too long, my friend. It certainly has. Uh, Chico Hands, uh, wonderful to see you. And then Bisbee St. Hancock, I'll take a greeting from you as well. I woke up this morning and knew it was going to be a special day when I got out of my box and headed out the door. I I knew it could only get better, and you are that better. Okay, that that leads me to a question. What box are you getting out of? Do you mean your home, or do you have a special sleeping box? Is the sleeping box the ladder? The ladder. Of course, it's a sleeping box. A real man doesn't need a mattress or a, not. You sleep in a box, a full. It's a Calvin's cage. family tradition. Every October, we try to get back in touch with the land, so we get out of our That's domiciles. Right. We construct mm-hmm. our own either either oak wood or cedar wood box. Or, ca- or cardboard. I cardboard, love cardboard. Cardboard, cardboard in a pinch. Yeah, you mentioned cardboard, Bisbee. Cardboard in a pinch. We place it behind the stables, and we sleep in those boxes all 31 days of October. And you make it as small it's gotta as be possible. Tight. You don't have no any flip flopping, rip ropping, big bucking, sidewalk chalking, bathtub caulking. You two talking to me, Rory Culkin, <laughs> slipping around in, the, in those box, in your sleep box, Scotley. So, that, uh, uh, Bisbee, what kind of pinch were you in that yours is cardboard? Well, as it's for a lot of people, uh, money is tight right now. Mm, of course, yes. The, I mean, uh, th- there being a pandemic, which I want to get to soon, but... Uh, you shouldn't what? go to the pandemic, Scotley. Stay away from it. Well, sure. I, I mean, I want to address the topic of it, but uh, money is tight for you, Bisbee, and not for your brothers? Well, I believe uh, it's tight for everyone right now. Well, m- but more so, more so for Bisbee, because you see, a- as you know, Scotland, Bisbee was, was a late entry into the family. He's always been family. We just didn't know about it till about three years ago. And so sure. that in our father's will, Bisbee... Stated in his will that no late entry into the Calvin's family bee honey taffy farm and horse fighting ranch can accept proceeds from the taffy portion of oh. the family run. And so I he's, own that. He <laughs> and by the way, the taffy portion has been the most successful recently. Correct. I see. Pro- but, you, but you're not you're not allowed to take profits from it. He can't. It? He owns it. He can't take profits. It's taffy season. That's a hard shot of pills to swallow during taffy season. <laughs> can you take losses from it? Mm-hmm. I take all the losses from it. <laughs> oh, no, Give him all the losses. Deal. That's right. All, they call it shortage. All the return product I have oh, to deal with. Oh, no. What do you do with it all? That's well, a lot of taffy. I do what everybody does with used taffy. You bury it 30 feet underground, have a bit of a seance. And to make sure that the, the taffy gods are all happy before the taffy uh, is no longer laughing. We've had, we've had a bee, bee honey horse fighting season or two with them taffy gods, the rage that they brought upon us. If a, ta- oh. if a taffy god strikes, smites you, Scott, you ever been smote Mm-mm. by a taffy god? You're suddenly stuck to the ground. <laughs> oh, so they have the powers of taffy, these yeah, taffy they're, gods. They're sticky. <laughs> Very sticky and goopy if it gets hot. Do they have any other powers other than taffy related or is it simply taffy related? Are they some sort of taffy totem? No, they're not taffy and other thing gods. They're strictly taffy gods, Scotley. I see. So they are goopy, they're sticky, they can stretch, I would imagine. Mysterious and goopy. They're all together, (laughs) Uke Scotland. The Taffy Gods. So um, I, I want to, for the for the new listeners, I want to explain sort of who you are. You're uh, uh, three brothers, you're three triplets, even though you have mm. different names, uh, Chico yeah. Hands, Bever Hopox, Bisbee St. Hancock. All legal mm-hmm. and above bolds. Sure. Yeah. No one's accusing you of anything. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you all you run this Calvin's family bee honey taffy farm and horse fighting ranch, which is out there, mm-hmm. as I recall, out there off of the uh, a certain freeway you take to get there. Several. Well, you got to wrap around that two ten interchange. Sure. Yeah. Then you take then you take the one fifteen overpass, head west for two exits. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then pull over to the side of the road. 
Because there's a weird satellite, there's a weird, there's a weird vortex where satellite, Google satellites can't find you. And you got to wait anywhere between 13 minutes to about <laughs> hour, hour and a half and let, let those satellites find you. Because then you're going to realize you were going the wrong way. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Once they get a lock on you, you got to turn around. You got to get off that exit. You turn back around. You got to do the 115 overpass again. You get to the 215. Head west now. If you're heading Stay east left. Before. Stay left. Always stay You got to stay left. Are you? Do you ever go to the 215 underpass? On, only if you want to anger the taffy gods. Oh, no. No one wants to do that. No. So, so then uh, you're on the 215. And what happens after that? You'll see a big sign. You'll see a big, big neon sign for our neon for our nemesis, <laughs> the Decca sister, Hornet, honey, and Carmel Pig Fighting Ranch. Do not go there. Do the Decker Decca sisters, sisters Hornet, pig, Hornet, Hornet, honey. Mm-hmm. And Carmel Caramel. Farm and Pig Fighting Ranch. And it mm-hmm. is just as crooked as the day is long. They, those sisters, those Decker sisters are, are Flip Flatter, Chip, Chip Slater, Darth Vader, R.I.P. Ruth Bader, <laughs> Las Vegas Raider, Giggling <laughs> Bill Hader, just, <laughs> just Dooniness. They're a bunch of Dooniness. Oh my! I've never we have we've never talked about uh, the Decker sisters, and we won't. I, I, no. And we won't. We won't. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, maybe no, someday Scott. I'll uh, I'll reach out to them to see if they want to be on the show with you. How many are the? How many Decker sisters are there? There's three. They're triplets. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> that was, that seems like that would be too many people to have on the show. Six people is as well as me. But maybe we'll get there. But um, so once you see that neon sign, and that's not very. Uh, I guess country. It doesn't have the country aesthetic that you would expect from a Hornet Honey and Caramel for, uh, Farm and Pig Farm and Ranch. Uh, a bit, just a big, you know, garish neon sign. Well, they're backed by the Seagram's family, so uh, okay. Just the ginger ale part, though. <laughs> oh, is, do they have a similar deal that you do with the taffy thing? Was there a late edition in that in the sisters there? There was the the we are not we said we weren't going to talk about it though. But I will. <laughs> okay. It was Marsha. Marsha Brandy was the sister that uh, it was late into the Decker sisters family. And now she's also not doing very well. Oh, no. She's. Yep. Yep. Now they don't sleep in boxes, though, because they're women. Oh, what? what how does how does the, the anatomy of a male figure into the sleeping part of the boxes? Exactly. What mm. they do is they wrap them, they wrap themselves up in tinfoil, mm. and they stay warm that way. Now you're probably asking, what about this this ginger ale god? Where does that come into play? Well, the hornet, the caramels went the which Marsha Brandy has to deal with the caramels that come back uh, that get returned from customers. Which when you deal with shitty caramel. You're getting a lot of these caramels back on a daily basis. Now, hmm. what she'll do is fill up a box with all these oh, return boy. caramels. There could I, be on any day. There could okay. be between yeah. uh-huh. twelve to one hundred and fifty, maybe someday sure. upwards of a thousand caramels yeah. coming back in okay. one day. And she'll yeah. he'll got it. She'll go out there and they'll yeah. dig a dig a hole. Uh-huh. Probably dig a hole. It'll yeah. take them a while because they gotta get you gotta get through that uh-huh. first uh-huh. base layer uh-huh. of yeah. of crust. Uh-huh. Yeah, and now. It'll put the all the caramels into the hole, and they'll bury them up. Have a just a bit, just a tiny bit of a uh-huh. seance on top of that uh-huh. to to make sure that the ginger ale gods are all happy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, good. And, and that's that's, that's the end. That's step one. Oh, ah! Uh, if only we had time for any further step. Uh, uh, Bisbee, I have to say, you're sniffing a lot. Is, is, uh, is, do you have allergies or heavy, heavy allergies? Then heavy why allergies. are you sleeping outside in a, in a there, sleeping box? Well, I think honestly, it, I don't have a choice as we've told you, we have to do that. It's taffy season and it's the 30 days of, of, uh, 30, October 31. The- are you only doing 30 days? We don't we don't celebrate Halloween. <laughs> you don't. Why not? We don't even, we don't even acknowledge it. Oh, I, I would assume that the Taffy Farm, 
which by the way, we haven't even gotten into the horse fighting ranch for uh, people who have never heard any previous episode uh, with you guys. Part of, I mean, some would say almost the entirety of your business is taken up by breeding horses to uh, have boxing matches to the death with each other. Elite, is that, is elite, that safe to say? Elite horseman fights. <laughs> elite, very strictly regulated, very brutal, very violent horse fights. Up on the hind hooves. They're sure. gloved up. We've introduced headgear. Oh, um, okay. That mu- that must be got to wear a mask. Participants got to wear a mask because sure. if you think COVID nineteen's bad for humans, it's worse for horses. Oh no, I had no idea. Well, what, think uh, about it. How many how many legs does a human have? Oh, let me count. Uh, I'm gonna have to look down for this if that's okay. I'll take your Go time. Right one thousand one. Oh boy, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna gently guide you to the answer. It's two, Scotty. It's two. Two. That's right. Humanoids have two legs. So horses got four of them legs. Does COVID attack the legs? It's that's, that's where it is. My ends understanding. From. And when you got double it, now you're dealing with COVID thirty eight. And oh, Calvin's family no. bee hunting Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch has been struck hard with a little COVID thirty eight. Oh, no, that is a terrible situation. Are your horses doing okay? I mean, no, 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 no. If you were if you were mortified at the death rate from like our active legal horse fighting bouts, which I think we did the math was somewhere between three hundred and five hundred horse deaths a day. Millions per year. That's right. That's right. Those numbers have gone up by seven, eight percent. Oh my, seven or eight percent. So uh, somewhere in the one hundred thousand range. Yeah, a day per year, a, a year, a year. <laughs> sure. So that's not that bad. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you'd say the two hundred human deaths isn't bad either, huh? Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, boy. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, I'm not saying uh-huh. that. I'm not saying yeah. that at all. Uh, uh, any death is a tragedy. Uh, almost any death. Um, Scott, Scott, could I could I just quickly correct one thing that you said? Sure, Chico. One thing you said <clears throat> that uh, I believe you, you mentioned that we breed all of these horses. Now, you know that's not true. I we I, don't breed I, the horses. We go to horse. Oh, births. that's right. Yes, yes, yes. You go to horse births that are off property. Yes. Correct. Yes, exactly. And when the horse is born. When the horse is born, you know right away if that's a fighting horse or if that's not a fighting horse. You can horse. smell it. You can smell it on a horse. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, you're going off, and, and I can't re- recall the percentage of horses that are born that are fighting horses. Very small number. Slight. Very small uh, number. Very slight. Less than, less than 1%. Yeah, I would yeah. say less than 1%. We okay. really got to keep statistic we ought to write this stuff down sometime yeah so really? you're going out there to just to thousands if not millions of horse if not billions of horse births every year every year yes got it. one get- horse one horse out of 176 horses that is born will be a fighting that's horse. exactly oh that's, that's the that, statistic uh, now remember. those odds but once you find one i mean uh, do you make a deal with the person who owns the horse or do you abscond with it uh, under the cover of darkness it's or? a rare occasion where you gotta steal uh steal a fighting horse under the fall of, fall of night under nightfall but that's mm-hmm. happened that's happened yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. we put on it. a full cat burglar suit mm-hmm. <laughs> and with black and white striped shirt the whole thing. Raccoon and style mask. Eye mask. Knit ski you get all that. Sure. And we play that music. We bring a little radio thump, and play thump, some. Thump, thump, huh? thump. Yep. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, so sneaking around music, not like Mission Impossible heist music. Well, no, we change sneaking it. around. We, we'll change it when we get in the heat of the, the thievery. Sure, sure yeah. Then, but it goes a little, more, gets really a little more Ocean's Eleven than Magnificent Seven. We really oh, like a, got it. a kick and bass with a with an uh, electronic sort of melody. Wait for the drop and boom. Wow. <laughs> With horse sounds. <laughs> wow. So, uh, uh, yeah, we haven't even gotten to the horse fighting part of it, uh, as well as, I guess, the horse stealing part of your business. But uh, uh, we're focusing on the taffy today. 
uh, I would assume that October is a huge taffy month, uh, what there being Halloween. But but Bisbee, you're saying that you don't even celebrate or nor acknowledge Halloween. No, I can't uh, acknowledge that that holiday. The day of the the Walking Dead is is what it's known in our family, and we've never acknowledged it because you uh, watched The Walking Dead on mm-hmm. Halloween once. <laughs> And w- well, we do it every now we do. I don't like to even say the name of it. But we wake up very early and we watch all how many seasons are there? There's now? 12 or something like that. <laughs> we watch every single episode starting in the morning on Halloween. We have to watch it in fast, fast, fast forward, forward. Yeah. One and a half right. times speed. I don't even think that would get it done, honestly, one and a half. I think you, if you just press the fast forward arrow three times, maybe you could well, do it. Well, we got different screens for each season, Scottly. Oh. We got 12 monitors up on the wall. 12 at a time. Oh, so you're watching them simultaneously at one and a half times speed. Okay, got it. Well, we each watch one TV we and then we'll rotate here. and then we'll have a quick break and talk about the plots uh, and kind of exchange. Yeah, and that saves ideas. us. And they com- then compare, contrast how they relate to the graphic novel, which we're all very big fans of. Sure. Robert yeah. Kirkman, of course. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, uh, it seems like the later you get, I mean, the more often you've been doing this, it seems like you'd be able to retain the knowledge a little better because you've been doing this so long. No. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> well, I, I can understand 364 days go by. You can't recall everything that you do. You got it. Do you know the uh, amount of responsibilities we have working on this farm? I, I, I mean, lo- yeah. A- Just going to the horse births and then stealing some of the horses. You know how much time it takes to go to those horse births every day? I would imagine that would take up the majority of the day, but why don't you tell me? It takes almost the entire day <laughs> from midnight until midnight the next day. So and you guys are waking up at midnight? Yeah. Of course well, we are. I'll get, get out well, of my box. 1145 to shower and groom. <laughs> so it You don't want to show minutes? up looking like a, like a sloppy waffle, dribble, dropple. Hip hopple, catch the quaffle, Harry Harry Potter nonsense, man. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, you, you want to show up looking your best so people know that you're. I'll serious tell you the one trainers. time, the one time where we did wake up at midnight and we were rushing <laughs> to our first horse birth <laughs> was the first time we had to steal that baby horse because he oh. showed up. And I remember, I remember that this I remember much better than any Walking Dead plot. We showed up <laughs> and the breed of that horse fight. It was the I looked at Chico and Chico said, I smell it. I smell the honey. And I said, Chico, you ride this here. This, this is going to be, this is going to be like the De La Hoya horses. And Do you remember what I said? Yep. You Were you there? You said, you said, <laughs> say it with me. You said. I said, said hey. hey. We, we go. We're, 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 we're gonna, gonna eat, eat on the way, way home, back home. Back home. <laughs> from this horse birth. Birth. If, if possible, possible, I would prefer to head yeah, to do the, the sandwich house. Sandwich house. Mm, mm. Chico, what's you, your eyes have been glazed over for almost the entirety of the first oh, no. uh, uh, a block here? What's what? Uh, something going on with you? Well, I'm thinking about the bottom line on our taffy season. And thus far, we're only a few days into October of the 31, but 30. the numbers aren't great. And you haven't been we, selling a lot of taffy, huh? We're trying to push this damn taffy, and people aren't trick-or-treating this year. Maybe they aren't making a plan to. And so we got a we got a surplus of taffy lying around oh no and uh we're not getting it out the door and mm. you i think you know what happens i think you know what happens i actually do not know what happens so i would love well, for you, to... you can imagine what happens i'm not imagining anything really well I, uh, if you were to use your, your your noodle up there and just give a quick thought to what you think. Unfortunately, have no thoughts regarding this. I, I really you, could use uh, for you to enlighten me. It's easy enough to surmise just exactly what. Been trying to surmise, and unfortunately, that is not working for me. So if perhaps you could uh, use your, your words and. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. You just got to okay. connect the dots, right. Scott. Lee. You got to connect the dots. It. These these dots yeah. are unfortunately unconnected. They're just uh, uh, pinpointed. Think all of literally my everything we've told you in the last thirty minutes. <laughs> okay. Jacka sisters, you- taffy surplus, cardboard okay. boxes, COVID thirty eight. By the big lines. sticky man upstairs. So everything that we've talked about in the last half hour should lead me to the conclusion that mm-hmm. I Correct. still am not. I'm not getting. Think it, of all. Think of all the different flavors of boxes of taffy hanging out. Just our think, Scott. Think Why of all those flavors. Think. think. <laughs> you got uh, branch, branch, branch flavored taffy. taffy. <laughs> branch flavored. Is that what we? Is no, that I like said br- branch? But we do have ranch as well. Oh, yeah. ranch. Oh, okay. Branch. I was gonna say, is that uh, uh, Blanche three branches from Golden or Girls the- flavored taffy? <laughs> what about the Branch Davidian flavored <laughs> taffy? Certainly, we got that. One of our top sellers, Ra- <laughs> yeah. raisin bran, raisin bran, raisin bran crunch, <laughs> raisin crunch branch ranch. Sure. We got we got taffy. Bruce Valanche. Oh, okay. <laughs> We we got a lot it's of got a, it's got a little bit of a bite, but overall it's pretty soft. <laughs> I once saw him tear up a uh, parking ticket that he got. He 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 came out of a building, went to his car, <laughs> saw oh, a parking man. ticket, theatrically tore it up into confetti pieces and threw it into the air. <laughs> I I loved it. You know, Scott, oh, I love wow. I love to hear when your tone shifts and you reach into your actual personal life. <laughs> Thank you. A little a little behind the scenes. Of, well, hopefully that'll happen for tone. all of us. It's a different tone. It's a different <laughs> decibel, as we can all see with all these sure, technical yeah. meters sitting in front of us. Sure. Yeah, you have a lot <laughs> of equipment real. there. I at love the, uh, I at love the Taffy it. Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch. <laughs> So, um, so, so all of that put together, unfortunately, I, I am coming up short. I cannot think of what would happen. So perhaps Chico, you could just tell me. I'm going to come right out and tell you if by the end of taffy season, that's the end of October, you are left with more than 250,000 tons of taffy (laughs) remaining on your farm. Unsold, the taffy gods will come down and they, with their taffy arms, they zap all that taffy and lightning shoots out and all that taffy coagulates together into one gigantic taffy demon No, that will haunt you for the next 330 four oh, days of the year. Oh, that is goodness. until the next taffy season. Next right. year. So, so like a taffy golem? Yes. Right. Oh my exactly. That's what it is. That's oh exactly my goodness. That- it's Scotty. I guess you can't think. And, and yeah. <laughs> I apologize. I, I apologize. I didn't put all the pieces together. It seems Same obvious. In obvious. I mean, yeah. you can lead a horse to a horse fight, but you can't make a Scotty think. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Um, well, uh, uh, so this, is this taffy demon? Is it visible to the public or, or you say it haunts you? Is it, is it only visible to the three of you? Well, we we can see it. Yeah. Uh, I guess you'd have to come along with us to to determine if other people could see. You know what? There I was. Guess so, we, yeah. We've only seen it one time, Scott. Like when we were young, when we were young boys, mm. uh, uh, under under the guidance of our papa, and our papa had a had a real rough. It was during the during the sixties, and hi, if there's one thing hippies hate, it's ta- it's good quality taffy. Right. That right. was taffy season, nineteen sixty four. And it 64. was 64. Okay. So this is right when the Beatles were coming over to America. Beatlemania to be was about Sullivan to explode. Show. Also known as the Taffy Second Coming. Oh, okay. And there were hippies? Those little horny little girls watching Ed Sullivan getting all <laughs> gushy for the first time looking at those floppy hair. I don't, don't want to talk. I don't think I want to talk him, about going to their little daddy, girls Daddy, buy me some Taffy to feed this, this sinful lust I'm feeling in my loins. But before that, it was dark days. It was dark days, Scotty. So you 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 glimpsed the taffy demon when in literally, the sixties, uh, literally November first, November first, nineteen sixty four, and and we were we were like, Daddy, why are you cry? Our, our father was not an emotional man, but we came to wake him up from the final night in his box. 
And we said, Daddy, Daddy, we could hear you crying from all the way in the main house. Why you said, Daddy? And he said, I have 250 million tons of taffy <laughs> that is going nowhere fast. Mm-hmm. So he had exactly 250 million tons that, I mean, to, if only he could have to sold the, to the, one piece. That's all it takes. <laughs> one one, one piece. piece of ta- You guys could have eaten one piece. Or and you know, who canceled, you know who canceled their order for 15 pieces of Who's Calvin's that? family taffy the night before? Mm-hmm. Bobby Decker. Oh, Decker. the the matriarch of the Decker sisters, Hornet Honey and Caramel Farm and Pig Farm and Ranch. You nailed the it. Very same. That, mm-hmm. my, that brain's getting sharper and sharper. <laughs> and our daddy, our daddy, he crapped himself. He was crying mm-hmm. so hard. He was so terrified because suddenly a taffy god appeared and a taffy god. Imagine like the most terrifying, scary, imposing um, inflatable car sales uh, <laughs> uh, figure that you ever see. You ever right. see at a car dealership, those flippity sure. floppity air, air driven uh, tension sure. grabbers? Sometimes they say cars for sale next to them. Yeah, yeah those th- 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 some, Thank you, thank you, Bisbee. Yeah, no, I know. I was picturing it before. Other, other times they might say mattresses and have an arrow, or sometimes they'll say like paper sale. And I've seen th- them at gas stations as well. Be, yeah. And then you'll think, you'll go, oh, that makes sense. This is outside of a paper store. It's a great or eye catcher. All right. Sometimes they might, uh, you're not sure. They'll be in between two stores and you're not mm-hmm. sure which, which one it's which trying one to. Which one it corresponds to. But, but, but you think from both. maybe, maybe <laughs> the managers of both stores got together and said, hey, maybe we go in on this together and that way. That way they can uh, each yes. benefit. I found right, most benefit. often that's the case. People love <laughs> to go in on a flop of costs. Man. It's not it's sure. not cost efficient to own one outright. And and to rent one, I mean, yeah, oh, it's cheaper in, in the Nonsense. short term, but in the long term. Yeah, you got to invest for a long time. Yeah. If you're going to buy one, here's the deal about buying versus leasing. If you buy that uh, inflatable man, you're stuck. What if your business goes down? You're stuck, you're with, stuck with it, yeah. Yeah, and you can't upgrade because every couple of years you're getting new technology with <laughs> these inflatable men. So sure. you want to make sure that you have the- I guess I haven't uh, seen the new technology in the last couple of decades, but but no, but, but Bisbee, I, yes, I can picture it. Thank you so much. So so okay. you're saying the Taffy Demon looked a lot no, like that. the Taffy God looks like that. The Taffy God. The Taffy God, God does. The taffy what does the Taffy Demon, demon look like? When, when he, he sort of, the taffy, taffy Gods are powerful. Taffy Gods are vengeful, but they're also very respectful. So what he did mm. is he came down flapping his taffy limbs and he looked at our, at our crying, crap pant father and he just reached out a, ha- a hand and he just wagged a little finger. Just went, mm-hmm. ah, 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 ah. And then he snapped and Scotty, you would not believe how quickly 250 million tons of taffy has turned into a mountain-sized Goliath. With like, with like real mean eye, like, like kind of, kind of frowning eyes. Frowning eyes. Yeah. yeah that's, oh, mm-hmm. oh that, that's so scary. Really mean but, and big. But, and he was about to, he, he was about, he was about to just, we could tell he was about to take out a whole horse fighting stadium in one foul swoop. Oh no. The stadium yeah. was built by then. Okay. When it was. Gonna... And then Chico, and then Chico said, daddy, I'm hungry. And grabbed, <laughs> grabbed a piece out of the big, out of, just off of the, the, the demon's toe. Sure. Chomped on it, Did, swallowed. And the thing okay. vanished like that, but but right. you must have paid him for it because the the rules state that they need to be sold. Did yeah. you flip flip your father a penny? I'm all, I was always flipping coins like that. That's <laughs> one of the only things we used to do for fun. You walk around, you flip a coin in the air, you catch it. And sure. I happened to be flipping it uh, as I reached for the demon's toe, and and the coin landed. In one of the taffy demon folds, and oh. that counted as a transaction. That that wow. counts as a transaction. So it was purchased, and I ate the toe, and we were saved. That was it. For the, Amazing for that story. That I mean, the the luck. Uh, I I can only imagine what would have happened if if for the next three hundred and. 34. 34 days you were haunted by that taffy demon. That's uh, mm-hmm. how frightening that would be. But that seems to be in your future if you don't get rid of your taffy. That's the concern. That's the concern because I think the demon probably learned from that 
little episode. Oh. Yeah. And so it's going to be, you know, protecting itself from having any taffy stolen from it. And also, it's not accepting any cash transactions at this time. No. Oh, it's cashless? It's trying. Yep. It, exactly. It, 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 oh, Apple Pay, see, going to cashless app, transactions, that hurts uh, so many, so many parts of society. Wants, it's not going to matter to a, to a yeah. te- 250 million ton taffy demon. Plus, how, how over the 250 million tons are you with the taffy? We got Ooh. 750 <laughs> oh, see. trillion unsold at this trillion. point. Trillion. So just, yeah. just eating a toe yeah. at this point isn't going to gonna no. too much. No. Well, look, guys, we need to take a break if that's okay. I, I want to get uh, more into your, your taffy farm and, and maybe some possible solutions in order to get rid of this taffy. Uh, but uh, we do need to take a break. We are going to come back with Chico Hands, Bever Hopox, and Bisbee St. Hancock. We'll be right back with the Calvin's Triplets in Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> ben and Jerry's. Oh, they are back. Love that they are advertising on this show. Uh, ben and Jerry's and Netflix, a, a company I've worked with many times, have churned up something extra special. I would imagine Ben and Jerry's are the ones doing the churning. Netflix is giving instructions. But I have no idea what the the delegation of duties ends up being here. But when you pop open a pint of Netflix and chilled ice cream, you can experience the magic of things that go perfectly together. And just like your Netflix watch list... There's something in a pint of Netflix and chilled ice cream for everyone. Follow the sweet and salty pretzel swirls like you follow the plot twists of your favorite drama. Or dig out a fudge brownie every time you laugh out loud at that new comedy special. That's a lot. Of, that, that would be a lot of ice cream, depending on the special. With the perfect mix of peanut butter intrigue, pretzel drama and fudge brownie belly laughs. Netflix and Chilled pairs well with any of your Netflix originals. Boy, what are the great Netflix originals? Well, of course, there's the Between Two Ferns movie. What would you pair uh, with uh, 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 the 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 Between Two Ferns movie? Half baked, although I would be full baked (laughs) if I were to watch it. But hey. You know me. Uh, there's a little bit of everything in Half Baked. So you, of course, we tried to put a little bit of uh, every celebrity in the Between Two Ferns movie. So why not watch that and eat that? Dig into Ben and Jerry's Netflix and Chilled anywhere ice cream is sold. And I sincerely hope they sell ice cream everywhere one of these days. Or find a new favorite at BenJerry.com. That is B-E-N-J-E-R-R-Y.com. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here with the Calvin Triplets. Of course, we have Chico Hands. Mm. <laughs> we have Bever Hopox. And Pisby St. Hancock. Yeah. And collectively, they are known as the Calvin's Triplets. Three brothers, uh, I, I believe by blood. I can't recall <laughs> if if uh, you are all actually related to each other. But why get into the lore and the history when we could be talking about uh, their current situation? They are the owners and proprietors of the Calvin's family, Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch. And they are also the owners, I guess you would say, of 750 trillion tons of excess taffy that's just sitting there on their farm, uh, I guess in boxes or laying on the ground. I, I'm not quite loose, sure how you store mostly it. Mostly loose, loose piles. <laughs> yeah. Piles and heaps. <laughs> Mounds. <laughs> so um, maybe we could just sort of brainstorm solutions for your situation because uh, I, I, quite frankly, I don't know how you're going to get – because w- – What's the the level you need to be under two hundred and fifty million, million tons? Million yeah, and you and you have seven hundred and fifty trillion tons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're way over. And it's, why? It's, why did you make so much? It's taffy season. We we just do it. We we just put it on autopilot. And those we, taffy we plants were blooming this year, Scott. Sure, but it seems like you could maybe make it to order, especially in a year where a lot of people don't have a bunch of disposable income, and we're waiting for. Well, then, for, what do you do if you have a family pull up and they want some taffy? Just on maybe they're on their way as an impulse buy to go to the lake or something. And exactly. It's, yeah. It's, and and if you have to look at a family in the eye and say, we don't have any right, taffy right now, we're going to have to make it. What flavor do you want? That's our and, literal uh, nightmare. 
That is our nightmare. We we, we wake up several Sweat. times a night, all screaming. At, Sweat. Almost screaming the, in the boxes? Screaming in our boxes, yeah. More branch okay. taffy! More branch taffy! <laughs> How many times, I, I, how many times, Bisbee, have you had to shake me and be like, well, we got enough branch taff here. It's okay. I've had, I've had to open his box. Mm-hmm. I'd have to grab him by the shoulders and mm-hmm. shake him and say, God damn it. Mm-hmm. Wake up. We have the taffy. <laughs> we have it. We got mm-hmm. it. And even Look then, I, I'll Look be Look at like, me in the eyes. I'll do Look. everything he tells me to, but I still think maybe this is still a nightmare. And he has to slip a little branch taffy into my mouth. I'll just, oh, I'll, that, I'll, that'll I'll, do it. That'll I'll just open you down. his little cheek, mm-hmm. o- open his little cheek and sh- shut with my finger. I'll mm-hmm. just shove it right in he's there got, and let it kind of dissolve overnight. He's, he's the strongest fingers of all the Calvin's triplets. Well, yeah. Well, how do you take that, Chico? Is it, you're fine with hearing that? I mean, or have you always thought you had strong fingers? Funny you should ask. I have the strongest toes, and that's undeniable. But my... <laughs> My fingers have, have been arthritic for a number of years. Oh, now. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Uh, the, the strength that I once had has been diminished. But if you want to toe wrestle with me, mm. I don't do it, Scotland. Don't do it. Don't. I it's I know we've made several idea. wagers in no, the No, you know what? Do it. Do it. <laughs> Come on, lay I, down. I can't tell, lay down can't tell whether ground, I'm being Scotland. hustled or lay down. <laughs> remove I'm your converse. Saying. <laughs> I'm Unlace taking off my chucks. boots right now. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that I want to toe wrestle, especially with you bragging Ooh. about how strong your toes are. Plus, okay. with the fact that it, it's not really that hygienic these days to be toe wrestling with someone. Oh, I I wear condoms on my feet. You got to because <laughs> COVID affects the legs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, well, I, I, you know, I don't have ten condoms, unfortunately. I've been using have, too many, I, so I got ten. <laughs> I got, I can give them to you. Well, I they're also dry. They're the dry kind. They're dry. You, the driest. Are they extra small too? I'm seeing because I, uh, unfortunately, I have, I have long toes. So I don't know the exact size, but they're Trojan powdered, extra tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you do know the exact kind. Oh yeah, look at I, that. They put it on yeah, the Yeah, I the don't box. think these are going to fit on my toes unfortunately. So I'm going to have to take a pass on this. But uh All right, rain check. We'll take a rain check on rain the toe check. wrestling man. Right. So so you guys, I think that you could split the difference between 750 trillion tons and and mm-hmm. being out if one family ever comes by the taffy farm. I it seems like there's a middle ground there. I'll admit it, Scale. We, we were arrogant. We thought in this time, in this time of 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 a once in human history global pandemic, people are going to be sitting at home. People are going to be needing to fill the hours, and what better way to fill an idle hour than with some taffy? I guess I, I've never thought eating taffy really should take up the majority of your focus. Even in an hour, I don't know that I could focus on just the eating the taffy for the full 60 minutes. Oh, well, then you're rushing through taffy, and that's just (laughs) criminal. Good taffy takes time to chew, time to to moisturize. You got to get your spits mixed in with your taffy to to get it out of the gaps again. Um, and, 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 and when you've had a Calvin's family a piece of taffy, you can't do, do just one. Is that yeah. when you, when you say it's criminal, do you have your own laws there on the taffy farm and horse fighting ranch? If we see you take one piece of taffy and not continue on to another, we are well within our legal rights to put you in a box for the month, for, for the month of October, at least. So a sleeping box or is that a euphemism for a coffin? In a sli- it has to be a, a regulated sleeping box. Oh, okay. So you're not you're threatening to kill me. No, no, no. no. We like it too much. Oh, no. This is like, this is like <laughs> our fourth or fifth time here, Scott, dude. <laughs> if we true. wanted you dead for taffy reasons, we'd have done that the first time. <laughs> well, I've never been to the taffy farm, unfortunately. Yeah. I, uh, I've well, never received, received an invite. Well, he- here's a piece right here, and you'll see. Uh, you should try this piece right now. Take okay. your time yeah. chewing it. We can give, give, mm-hmm. take, take, if not the full hour, take at least 40 minutes to eat it. I and you'll re- see right on the wrapper, uh, it's a Calvin's taffy. Once you chew, got to have at least two. And look in the back. Each piece comes with its own magazine. So wh- yeah. which which magazine did you get? That looks like a thicky. Uh, it looks a like sticky thicky. Guns and ammo? 
Yep. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's and, there, and, and I need to click this user agreement here on the mm-hmm. wrapper. Is that yep. what it click is? Click it on. Click it. <laughs> with with my human mouse, a.k.a. my finger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Click that before you eat it. You, could have, like you, could, have, you could have Bigsby do it for you. His fingers are strong. Um, okay, reach right over. I'll click. Uh, that's I, I, I prefer you not to reach over to my my the taffy that's going into my mouth. And you know. I could do it with my toes. <laughs> oh, that's even worse, I think. But you know, I, right. I I think I may not want to eat some taffy for the next hour if we're in the middle of a show. I think that might oh. affect my oh. performance somehow. I don't okay, know. won't notice. Yeah, that, no, that makes sense. That's a good flavor too. What? Yeah. Which flavor is this? Milk. <laughs> Milk. Milk taffy. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it doesn't sound bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's good. <laughs> sure. Is that your slogan, bad. by the way? Of yeah. course it's not bad. It's good. That's right. Yeah. Calvin's triplet taffy. It's not bad. It's, it's good. good. Of course it's not <laughs> bad. It's good. Well, guys, I don't know how that you're going to sell this much taffy. I mean, of course you could burn the taffy. <clears throat> of course you could... Uh, put it in a landfill, but the the agreement with the taffy god obviously states that it needs to be sold. It needs to be purchased. Well, we were hoping yeah. you could help us with I, that, Scott. Like maybe we oh. could maybe we could start a, a comedy bang bang telethon right now. Oh, have sure, people yeah. Call in. Yeah, we could have people call in. We could have uh, uh, you guys doing uh, sort of variety acts and stuff like that. So, yeah, why don't we uh, uh, start it off here? It'll be sort of like the Jerry Lewis telethon, which is something that uh, I used to watch as a child, which would go uh, oh, yeah. uh, all night uh, for f- uh, 72 hours, and Jerry would stay awake. Uh, of course, we don't have that kind of time. If we can stay awake for s- the next, say, half hour or so, we could do one right now. All right. Yeah. I'm willing to try. <laughs> do, do you need to take some caffeine pills or anything like that? I could do my I could do my stand up. Yeah, this this sounds great. So uh uh why don't we start it now? This is is does it have a special title? Probably the Calvin's family bee honey taffy farm and horse rotten fan, uh, ranch taffy taffy god uh taffy god stopping fl- flip flopping fab fiving staying alive in a dog dizim sizing Colt 45 and hullabaloo telethon extravaganza. So I, if I have this right, it's the Calvin's family bee honey taffy farm and horse fighting ranch taffy God stopping flip flopping fab five and staying alive in Adele dizim sizing Colt 45 hullabaloo. And I think I missed the last part of it. <laughs> hullabaloo. Tele- telethon extravaganza. Telethon extravaganza. All right. Uh, do we have a, a theme song for this? Yep. Is one of you like the Ed McMahon style announcer who would be talking over this or no? And Keep since going. you interrupted, why don't you start over? Uh, Sorry, Bigsby, I why don't you right. start over? Bigsby. Just getting into the good part too. Welcome to the telethon. Um, Why does it have a title if you're not going to say it? Oh, sure. Welcome to the Calvin's family bee honey taffy farming horse fighting ranch taffy demon stopping flip flopping fab five and staying alive in a Daryl Dazim size and Colt 45 and hullabaloo telethon extravaganza. Why don't you go ahead? <gasps> oh, oh, sorry, no, you're falling. Oh. Why don't you go ahead and uh, call the number that, that, that I'm sure Scott is going to gladly provide? <sighs> You, 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 the, the telephone is just starting. A, a chat to one of our uh, one of our phone operators and make a sizable uh, purchase of Collins. Bever, Bever, wake up! Mm. 
<clears throat> Wake up, Make Beverly. a sizable purchase of Calvin's family taffy. Uh, to, to, it's a great holiday gift, and, and you know what they say. It's not bad. It's good. It's good. <laughs> That's right. Call us here at one 800 0 and you can talk to one of the Calvin's triplets here. So, oh, it looks like we're getting a call here. Uh, line one, you're on the line. Hello? Hi, what's your name? Scott. Uh, your name's Scott, or you're saying hello to me, Scott? No, your name's Scott. My name is Scott. What is your name, sir? Brian. Brian? Do yes. you want to say your last name, or do you want to re- remain semi-anonymous? Brian Fun. Brian Fun. It's so, yeah. so great to hear from you. Brian, um, you have called into the Calvin's Family Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fight and Ranch Taffy Demon Stop and Flip Flop and Fab Five and Staying Alive and Adele Dazeem Size and Colt 45 and Hullabaloo Telethon Extravaganza in order to purchase some uh, taffy, I'm hoping? I would love to purchase some taffy, yeah. How much taffy are we talking that you want to purchase? I would like three pieces of taffy. <laughs> three pieces. All right. Well, uh, and how much are you willing to pay for the three pieces? Um, 75, 75 cents. 75 cents. Does that sound fair or is it no deal? <laughs> take it. Take it. Price take is it. a price. Price is take set. It. Price Just is locked. <laughs> 25 cents a piece. What flavor? What flavor? What flavor would you like that Brian Fawn? Um, do you guys have, uh, hoisin sauce? Shit. Yeah, we do can you, make it. We'll make, I'll make it. We'll you're going to make a new batch. You're going to we'll make, make your own hoisin sauce? Well, well flavored taffy. I mean. Oh, I see. You have hoisin sauce here at the ranch. We can mix it up. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, does that sound okay to you? Do you want all three pieces of that flavor? Um, <laughs> now that you mention it. How about two hoisin sauce flavored? And then another one. Hold on. Use... I'm right. Give me a goddamn right. break. I'm writing it down. Okay. God, we're never going to get through 750 trillion tons and, this way. And, never and say piece, never. Never say never, Scott. Piece three. Piece three will be. Because our biggest, our but, biggest, our, our biggest sort of like marketing tool is word of mouth. So I have a feeling. Oh, okay. Once we make these hoisin sauce taffies. Ship him off to Brian Fun, wherever he may be residing. Where do you reside, Brian? Gardenia. Okay. So, not too far. Not too far. Ship him off to Gardenia. He's going to You think word of mouth is just going to catch fire and everyone oh, will be calling I've him? Got good, I've got a good feeling in my bones about it, Scott Lee. Okay, and that third piece of taffy, Brian? Um, right. The, um, pork chops? Great. Flavor? We do have that. We do we have that okay. on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, good, good. Most, Brian, do you want to? Yes. Well, just most of the taffy we have in that 750 trillion tons is pork chop flavor. Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. uh, going to work out then. Uh, Brian, do you want to talk to Chico? Uh, Sure. Is he there? Yeah, Chico's yeah. there. Say hi, Chico. H- hi, Chico. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Chico. <laughs> Thanks for one of my jokes. <laughs> What's going on, Brian Fun? Hello, Chico. Nice to meet you. I, um, nice to meet you. I, this is my first time knowing of you people because oh, so this is I, your I, first I, telethon. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to ask, uh, are, are you a fan of Taffy or you're a fan of, uh, obviously you haven't heard of the Calvin triplets before, so d- were you just listening to the telethon and you, you heard about Taffy and you thought that sounded good to you? That's exactly what happened. I am mm. a big fan of Taffy, and I happened to be uh, turning the dial, and I landed on this telethon, and uh, it, it sounds like there's a whole deal going on. with. There definitely is a whole deal going on. What do you do for work, Brian Fun? Uh, Bisbee's in- tabulating the order, by the way. He's he's ringing everything up on an, sort of an old-fashioned register. Okay. And this is a, so so uh, to, to to pass the time. What what do you do for work, Brian? I'm an ins- I'm an insurance claims adjuster, oh, and okay. I'm also an Instagram influencer. Oh, I don't know that uh, those two things have ever gone together before. That how fascinating! I'm Sorry, the Bri- only one. Yeah, Brian. Brian Fun. Yeah. yeah. Did you want to put in a coupon code? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, it's going to be. Gosh, that's going to be make those your first. 10 pieces are free, so that's going to qualify for this to be a free order. Okay. okay. I'd like to use the promo code October. 
Oh shit. <laughs> does that does that change things? Frisbee? No, he gets the free frisbee with it too. Oh, yeah. okay. So does this count as selling the taffy? No, and he gets his next six orders for free. No oh what. no. Next six orders or the next seven pieces? No, six <laughs> orders, unlimited size. <laughs> okay. So is there I mean, so sort of- you, so technically, Brian, you could you could request <laughs> all seven hundred and fifty million trillion, trillion tons. tons. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you want to but request that? Well, I don't know where I'd put all that. One and number two, it, from my understanding, that would have no effect on the taffy demon because they because I'm it getting free. all of it for free. <laughs> no, you could you, you could put it anywhere. By the way, you could put it in your backyard as long as you hose it all down. <laughs> that'll keep day, it. That'll keep help it keep its shape. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have room for that, but also I'm concerned for you fellas. You know, again, I, we appreciate that, Brian. We really do, and you've touched our heart. And this is perfect because <laughs> it's one of those sentimental moments that you have in telethons from time to yeah. time when they bring out, like you know, a, 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 a sick, sick child, child. Yeah. or something like that. So, Brian, thank you for yeah. being our sick child. And, and I gotta say, I think I speak for both of my brothers um, when I say that if you receive. All 750 trillion tons of these taffies, and you enjoy it? That's worth a couple eternal damnations, as far as I'm concerned. Wonderful sentiment. Mm-hmm. Brother, I don't know. Beva, I've been I've been reviewing the, the taffy farm fine print. The demon deal. The demon deal written on a taffy wrapper. <laughs> and blood? it says right here that... You can't give away the taffy. And if he's entered in a promo code, that's technically a giveaway, not a sale. This isn't going to yeah. work. Yeah. This is like a loss leader for you guys. Yeah. Unfortunately. But um, he took three pieces. Uh, he gets it for free. So, Brian, uh, thank you so much yeah. for calling in. And uh, uh, do okay. you want to uh, promote your Instagram handle? Yeah. Well, my Instagram handle is um, Brian. Fun smiley face. Oh. Uh, 1,000. Hmm. Now, and do you mean the word smiley face? Because if you try to put an emoji, that's not going to Yeah, it's not going to, nothing's going to come up. So it must be the word smiley face. Smiley face. face. Brian Fun smiley face. That's right. Written out, smiley face, hmm. and then written out 1,000. The word. The wor- So one, the uh, O-N-E, and then T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. You got it. Yeah. Okay. And that, exactly. and then, and people can, and what do you influence? Like what style of Instagram influencer are you? Is it clothes or is it a lifestyle or? It's more, um, eating food and oh. I give little reviews. Of oh, will you give these guys a review? Eat. Well, I'm going, yes, I plan to, and I'm going oh, to. Great. And, okay. Well, and- we'll check back in, uh, towards the end of the show to see how your review is of their taffy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send out a, a carrier right now with your order <laughs> yeah. to Gaudita. Go, go! <laughs> oh, I thought it would be a drone. It's actually a. It's a horse. <laughs> Don't stop till you make it. <laughs> so you, have, you have delivery horses. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. That's laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. Well, thank you, uh, Brian. Thanks for calling in. Great to talk to you. Great talking with you as well. Bye bye. Okay. Well, guys, wow. Um, we, we made it. Yeah, we made. I guess we didn't make a dent at all. Uh, there is oh, less dear. taffy, but uh, you can't give it away. Mm-hmm. So you need to make three more yeah. pieces. Yeah, we got to make three more pieces just to come up to par, and then we still got to sell. Although, although Bisbee was making the two hoisin pieces, so technically, you well, those are to. just those are they already exist. I'm just going to add the flavor to those. You were, um, okay, because we have a we have. Well, you uh, have to make new pieces anyway. Why don't you just make two? hoisin pieces or three hoisin why pieces why don't you mind your own taffy business and we'll <laughs> okay, get it done right. the way you're we'll right. i don't have done. a taffy business but were i to run one i think i would run it considerably better than you three gentlemen well sorry sorry but look we need to take a break uh if we can when we come back we are going to have more of this telethon extravaganza and as promised bisbee saint hancock is going to do his stand-up act And uh, also, we're going to check in on that Instagram review of the Taffy 
from Brian Fun. Uh, but so much more to come here on Comedy Bang Bang. We'll be right back with the Calvin's Family Bee, Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch, Taffy Demon Stop and Flip Flop and Fab Five and Staying Alive and Adele Dezeem Size and Colt 45 and Hullabaloo Telethon Extravaganza after this! <laughs> <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. We have uh, Chico Hands, Bever Hopox, Bisbee St. Hancock, also known as the Calvin's Triplets, and we are in the middle of the telethon extravaganza. I don't feel like I need to say the name again, uh, but uh, uh, during the break, we've received how many calls? Bever, did you get a call? Six. I got no calls. No calls? I got six calls, but you mean about the telethon? Oh, yeah. Who's calling you oh, about, about other I business? I called him once. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I you got guys are in the dial, same room. But it was a blood I, dial from Chico. Yeah. And then then it was just, uh, just uh, uh, I got tested for COVID. It's negative. So we can all feel oh, congratulations. Good. Okay. Uh, so. I got a confirmation. Take the traffic guards for that. Confirmation on my podiatrist's upcoming appointment. Oh, um, your podiatrist has an appointment somewhere? Yeah, and he just wanted to let me know about it. So <laughs> one time my podiatrist got lost for 17 days. Nobody could find him. And somehow oh, okay. that fell on my head. He wants everyone to know where he and is. He's just like, all. never again. Never Where's again. Where's he going? Where's he going to be? Where's he going this time? He's uh, <laughs> Del Taco. Oh. Uh, he made an appointment? <laughs> yeah. Classy guy. It's a cheat meal for him. So he just he oh, likes to put okay. it in his little book. Um, and then one, I think was a wrong number. Uh, Hmm. the other was just a robo call. Um, and then the other one was Chico butt dial again. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So nothing about the telethon. No, zero calls on the telethon. Zero Zero calls. Oh, wait, it looks like the phone lines are lighting up here though. Uh, let's take a call. All right. Hello. You're on the telethon. Hey, hey guys. Hey, uh, a big fan of your stuff. Uh, yeah, sorry to Thank hear about so the much. whole demon situation, but uh, just just really would love to make a make a purchase for my family. Uh, great. Uh, may may we have your name? Sure. Yeah, my name is uh Dylan Dylan Peacher, and uh, I'm actually a repeat uh, uh, uh purchaser of Calvin's oh. Family Taffy, uh, best taffy in the world, if you ask me. And welcome uh, home. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Bisbee. Um, yeah, so I would love, I'm going to use them as holiday gifts this year, and I cannot highly recommend it enough. And I would uh, love. Oh, 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 a moment. Uh, just yes, a moment. Know. What? Which holiday? Is uh, it a holiday gift? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them for Secretary's Day. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, when, is it, when is that usually? That's, uh, I think we call them assistants now. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, uh, Secretariat's Day. Oh, um, okay. The anniversary actually, found, of him winning. Correct. So I found the Calvin's family through the horse fighting initially, oh. um, and got season tickets. Uh, have, have kept that going on ever since. What, what uh, is horse fighting season? It seems like you guys do it year round. Year round, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you're there every day. <laughs> yeah, three six five. Um. You know it, three six five. <laughs> okay. Except for except for Halloween when they when they shut down for that day just to see all the horse first. Um, and, well, I uh, thought they were watching The Walking Dead that day. That's, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. Sorry, I misspoke. I misspoke. Uh, if you it's ever confusing. see a horse birth, it's about as gory as those zombies, Scott. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so obviously Walking Dead Day, we get off. I spend that with my family. Um, but yeah, I would love to order. I'd love to order five tins of taffy, please. Five, five tins. tins. Okay, how many pieces does that Three. end up being? How many tons? How many tons is a tin? A tin. A Did you tin. say tins or tons? By I said the way. tins. Five tins. But <laughs> okay. well, we have a we have three different yeah. sizes of tins. We have That's small. Right. The small, have, which is just uh, twelve pieces. We, yep, and we have the large. Large, and, which is twenty five pieces, mm-hmm. and then we have uh, the big. The big old tin. Yeah, that's the one I mean. So a big old tin is a trillion tons of taffy. <laughs> yep. Whoa, okay. So you want the trillion tons, so... I'll take it. Guys, if you, if you can make this sale, All then right. you only have 749 right. trillion tons left to go, minus 250 million tons, I guess. Are you okay or with a, a, a yeah. mix of flavors? Yeah, I'll take the variety pack. Uh, no pork chop flavor, please, though. Oh, Uh-oh. shit. Uh, <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, you, yeah, you were saying oh, before no. the break that the majority of your taffy is pork chop flavored. Do you have yeah. enough for a trillion tons of? Mm-hmm. I think I think all about, but about like 
20 to 30 pieces of pork chop flavor. Oh, no. Can, can, I, can I ask you, Dylan? What, yeah, what's going what, on? Uh, what's your problem with the, with the pork chop flavor? Well, uh, I just, um, I just don't Is care it, for it. Did you have, because if you had last year's, last yeah, season's pork that's chop, the first this, time I tried it, yeah. this season's very different. You might Was there a problem keep, last year with the pork chop flavor? Well, yeah, it went bad. Okay, so it the was meat. like rancid meat flavored. It felt taffy? like there were actual little pieces of pork chop in the peas, and those they went rancid, but they also solidified. So it was like chewing on taffy, <laughs> taffy filled what? with rocks. Why do you like their taffy if you had this kind of experience? <laughs> I think it's tradition. I love the tradition. It makes me feel uh, sentimental yeah. for early days at the at the horse fight. I mean, it's a tradition because you're there every day, but Halloween, Walking Dead day. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so uh, can we interest you in this year's flavor of yeah, the pork chop year, flavor? This this is a more of a uh, a dry rub pork pork chop mm. flavored, and there's no mm-hmm. chip. Last season we had uh, pork chips, and this season it mixed mm. in. This season is just a puree. Mm. It's a puree. I think it's much was. smoother, much smoother texture. Let no chunks. Can I ask? Uh, this? Can I ask this? Can you messenger me one piece of the current pork chop? I'll try oh. it. And if I like it, I'll call back with the order. Where oh. where are you right now? I am in Missouri. Son of a bitch. Uh, do you have a horse fast enough? Go! <laughs> ah! 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 Stop! All right, it's on its way. Hopefully it'll get there to you. Oh, look, or... okay, no, the door. <laughs> oh, this is somebody's at the door. You're hearing okay. a hoof knock yes. at the door. Yes. Ah! Oh, thank you, thank you. Ah! All right, I'm just going to... Uh, Unwrap this little piece of taffy here, and oh, you wrap it in paper. Man, I hope you like it. Oh, look at that! <laughs> yeah, you have to click the user agreement. Okay, here we go. What magazine did you get? Um, let's see. What is this? Um, oh, I got a highlights, a children's oh. highlights from 1972. Oh, look at that. Look wonderful! At that. That's fun. I already see a couple things wrong <laughs> between these two pictures. Um, all right, I'm gonna try <laughs> the taffy now. Yeah, don't get wrapped up in that. Try the taffy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, before you mm-hmm. get to the puzzles in the back. Mm. 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 How's it? Yeah, you keep mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. it. Sounds like you're. Mm-hmm. We don't have the full hour to to savor mm-hmm. this taffy. Oh, really? Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to have to make your decision right now. Oh, but that's how I consume Calvin's family taffy. <laughs> sure, we all do. We all do. But uh, if I could get a preliminary. In in his defense, we do promote taking taking mm. time with the taffy. Sure, of course. Yeah, Reading like... the magazine, mm. getting the full taffy experience. You guys, <laughs> you guys, I've come to a decision. Okay. I'm not going to continue with my order. Oh. I am going to order. Seven hundred and forty nine trillion. Seven hundred. Sure. And forty nine trillion. Seven hundred and hundred and and fifty one million one million tons. Whoa, guys. Nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pieces. Oh my god! Oh my That's god. amazing. That'll put you right over the edge. Uh, uh, what was no, your name it'll again? Put was it under di- the edge? Just oh. under, I think. What, what was your name again, yeah. sir? It was. My uh, name is Dylan Preaches. Dylan Preaches. You, you're not looking too good. I have to say, you're sweating and uh-huh. you're. Uh, mm. You uh, you've turned a, a, a strange <laughs> color of. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I feel hot. I can't taste the taffy anymore. This will happen. I can't smell the taffy either. Oh no. Oh, no. I think he's got the COVID-38. Oh, no. Did you infect your taffy with COVID-38? No, not, not, on not, not on purpose. Not on purpose, sure, but no purpose. one does it on purpose. Bound to happen. Boy, bound to happen. All that, all that COVID-38 floating around. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be all right, sir? Uh-huh. Oh, he's oh. coughing like a horse. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I got to go. Uh, bye, guys. Be sure to send all that taffy. Yeah, we'll send it. I don't think I, I. Oh, dear. Oh, you got to feel bad. Got he hung up before he hung up before canceling his order. So I'm not quite sure we, we, where that leaves us. The card, the card cleared. 
Well, I thought he said send the taffy. <laughs> he did no? say send send the taffy, but it also has made him sick and possibly dying, which I don't know whether it's Hey, you gotta get it out there. That's fast. our other that's our other taffy catchphrase. Hey, it might make you sick, but it's worth it. Uh-huh. <laughs> can mm-hmm. you can you check just to make sure he hasn't put a stop payment there on the uh <laughs> Let me just look. No, oh, there is a note in the account. What's it what's it note say? It's Hold on, I'm pulling it up, Chico. Right. Come on, hey, God, come on, it. Chico. Let's, uh, you know. There we go. I know you're impatient, Chico. You're the most yeah. impatient of the triplets, are you not? That, yeah, I, I'm fine with that label. Sure, <laughs> a little bit impatient. What's the dang note say? Send the order as fast as possible, uh-huh. but make sure when you send it, I'm still alive. Wait okay. A minute. We- so we should, did, we need to make sure that he's still how did alive. He even, how did he even get this note into this account? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Well, you we can do a, sent a credit card purchase note. He sent a credit card purchase note. We can do a reverse trace on the call and call him back. So uh, let me let, star sixty nine. Yeah, star sixty nine. And here we go. Beep, boop, boop. Bring, bring. Hello. 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 This. Who's this? this is, hey. hey. Hello. This is uh, the telethon. You just called into the telethon. How did you get this number? This this might be one of those fake answering machine messages. <laughs> it's perfectly anticipating uh, what you're saying. I don't know. I'll have to ask my wife. Uh-huh. This, is, what, this uh-huh. is a fake answer. Wait, wait, wait. Machine. Sorry. Go back and repeat that. We're from the telethon. You just called in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. should we send the telethon? Yeah, but, 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 but can I ask a question? Sure. Why is sure. this happening? Should, do we send the taffy or not? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You bought it. You said you want to buy it. Unless wow, you're dead. Well, that's something. Hey, guys, I'm just kidding. It's Dylan Treacher's to reach my answering machine. Oh, no. Hey, yeah, you're you're right. Right. Yeah. Machine. Number yeah. and uh, message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Wait. Oh. Hey, Dylan. Hey, are you dead? Dylan, Dylan, hey, this is the Galvin's triplets. Uh, we're just making sure that you enjoyed the pork chop taffy. You survived the ingestion of it, and you still want this seven hundred and forty nine trillion seven hundred and forty nine uh, million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine pieces of taffy. Call us back at one eight hundred zero 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 eight hundred zero, and uh, let us know. Yeah, ask him if he wants. Ask Take him care. if he wants a uh, oh yeah a coupon code. Coupon and do you want to remind. answer a coupon code? No, you don't want the coupon code. Bye. Don't mention. <laughs> By the way, that's that is eight hundred zeros. We want to make sure people. Maybe that's why we're not getting a lot of calls. It's eight hundred zeros in a row, not yeah. one eight hundred. Uh, um, yeah. shouldn't have told him about that coupon code. Oh wait, yeah. we're getting a call. We're getting a call. <laughs> Hello. You're on hey, the telethon. Guys, it's Dylan. I'm hey, fine. Hey, Dylan. I'm completely fine. So we can ship that out to you right Please now? Please Everything- ship it to me. I do want to inquire about this coupon code. Oh, shit. Oh, no. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, what, listen, what? I, I feel as a, as a longtime loyal buyer, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of entitled to using a coupon code, quite uh-huh. frankly. I think the one October will actually. Get October? Better. Great. I'll use that one. Oh, Jeez! No, no. oh, it's gonna it's drag gonna be, double. It's drag. gonna make this order free, and oh, your boy. next six orders are gonna be free as well. Oh, you gosh. are responsible for shipping, um, so I will have to take your card down. For- Chico, is there any kind of shipping clause? Can you? Can, what if you charged uh, him for a lot for the shipping, uh, more so than it would actually take to buy the stuff? Would that get? Is there some sort of work around there? Oh, Chico? That's interesting. I- I like shipping. that idea. I like that because th- I, this Dylan guy doesn't seem too smart. I feel like we could pull a fast one on him. This is yeah, Dylan. No. I'm still on the line. <laughs> hey, oh, wait hey, a minute. Hey, what's up, Dylan? Wait a minute. Is this another one of his fake? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, sure. Son Put the order through. I'm a hornet. <laughs> I said it already. Uh-huh. Damn. <laughs> you bet. How did this Hold happen on. to us Repeat again? How's he we doing that? When he hey, guys, I'm killing. It's still in pre He's making out going calls. I'd like to know who you're voting for this presidential election. It's if you're voting for Biden Harris, please press one. If you're voting for Trump, press two. Have a marvelous day. How do you have a... He had the coupon code. 
<laughs> on his robo. Wow. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, man. That, that well, the good news <laughs> is he doesn't know about the promo code, so <laughs> nobody <good>. mention it. <laughs> well, Although you did leave a message. He, he did know oh. about it. He literally <laughs> told us the one to use. He embedded it in his oh. robo call. But I do, I do have to uh, charge him for shipping, and it is not going to be cheap. Yeah, I mean, all those horses, all those tons, mm-hmm. all, all the way Missouri. out to where is he, Missouri? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, while we're while you're calculating that, we, uh, uh, you know, what would a good telethon be without some celebrities? So we have some celebrities here on the show, uh, willing to appear on the telethon. Uh, who do we have here first? Is this uh, Michael Sarah? I can't wait to hear. <laughs> I, I'm such a fan of Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah, come on out and appear on the telethon. Oh my! Come hey, on, hi, Michael Sarah. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, sorry about your uh, your predicament. It seems seems frustrating. Feels feels like you got a lot lot on your shoulders. I can I can <laughs> sympathize. You know, it's just sort of with uh, with uh, ec- ec- expectations and, and businesses. But that I guess that's sort of the capitalist society in which which we live, right? Yep. Michael it's Sarah, Sarah from everybody. the bar, Michael Sarah. Hey, that was great. <laughs> Michael, wow. Michael, do you want to buy any taffy while you're here? No. <laughs> oh, oh, he's already gone. God. God. Oh, oh, God. oh, my gosh. Do we have any other celebrities uh, here coming out on the show? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was great to have one. <laughs> Um, I'm more so, excited to get to, uh, to get to Bisbee's stand-up routine. Yeah. I would love to hear Bisbee's stand-up routine while we're, Oh, okay. All right. We so, can uh, can I get a little music to come out to? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, Bisbee St. Hancock, you might've heard of me. Uh, I, I've been working on some material and I'd like to test it out on you guys and do a little crowd work. Wait, you've been working on material, but you instead want to do crowd work? Yep. (laughs) I don't, I'm not too confident in the material I was working on. Understandable. Understandable. (laughs) I'm going to do an old frogger jump and uh, go straight to the crowd work. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, who, uh, looks like you guys came here tonight together. Where are you guys from? Are you, ta- uh, what, uh, are you talking to me and my girlfriend? Yeah. Hey, who are hey. these guys? <laughs> where am I from? Yeah, we're yeah, from we're, the Bronx. We're from the Bronx over here. Make a big deal out of it, why don't you? Oh, yeah. I've, I went there once uh, on a school trip when I was young. Uh-huh. Uh, my, we went to a museum. Have you guys been to that? The Bronx Museum, of course. Yeah, we've yeah. been to the Bronx Museum. Oh boy! <laughs> how about how about you guys over there? Where are you guys from? Hey, we're from uh, Minnesota. Me and my girlfriend. Oh yeah. yeah. They, I feel like. Why uh, are there so many people there at the ranch? There's a lot of. <laughs> we have a crowd. We're all. We're I had pretty, no idea. You haven't swung good, the camera around <laughs> until good now. Size crowd. Um, hey, so uh, the they've Midwest, been totally huh? silent this whole time. <laughs> They're very, well, they're we normal. told them, we told them, mom's the word. Scott is a professional. This is a professional show. Big show. And if you make a peep without, without being addressed, uh-huh. you're going in a box. Now, uh, you guys have a lot of casserole in Minnesota. Oh, sure. Yeah. My mom yeah. used to make a good one, a, a, a tuna fish casserole. Yeah. It's always funny to me when less than like four people have a casserole because you probably won't be able to finish it. <laughs> well, I think we got a couple of laughs. Hey, I, I who, don't... Was, who do you guys think was the first guy uh, to ever like uh, make a sandwich? And he was like, uh, "Would it? What's you know what make this sandwich better if it was wet with some uh, mustard?" Who do you <laughs> think that? Who do you think that guy was? Yeah, how do you come up with that? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know what? That's even relatable here in the Bronx. What's the deal with mustard? <laughs> oh yeah, that was yeah, pretty here, funny. Yeah, here yeah. comes here comes my closer. Oh okay. Um, now is this here? part of the material, or this is continuing to be crowd work? 
This is still crowd work, but okay, it's a little so it's, bit of a, a little bit of a hybrid. Okay. Um, I'm willing, like when I use it on a lot of crowds, I'm ready to go off. Okay. But I'll, if no one uh, is interested, then I'll stick with it. The, so your act is 30 seconds of crowd work and then a closer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's great. A, Lay, hit us with it. Hit us a, with it. It's a tight 50 seconds. Sure. Okay. Um, so anybody here uh, is parents uh, still with us? No. No. Yeah. Anybody yeah. else? Yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Hey man. Do you do you ever think about sometimes how your uh your dad had like put himself inside your mom to make you? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, my name's been uh Bisbee St. Hancock and check me out. Uh I'm just kidding, guys. It's Dylan Preacher. I hope you've enjoyed my outgoing message oh, where what? I pretend to be a girl from the Bronx, a guy from the Bronx, a guy from Minnesota, a girl from Minnesota, a surfer boy, and Bisbee St. Hancock. If you want to leave your name, number, and a short message, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Beep. Oh, that's what? still going on. Oh, my God. How did he get us again? That that timed that's out good. perfectly with my <laughs> that's act. crazy. Uh, are we, do we want to leave him a message? Don't mention the coupon code. Uh, oh, hey, hey, Dylan, sorry, we've got a little confusion here with your analog but very complex high-tech uh, phone delivery and answering service. Uh, it's the Calvin's triplets wondering about all this funky taffy. Uh, love to make you a nice real deal, copper feel, uh, grande Rio, Travis Scott meal, uh, forbidden Captain EO movie kind of kind of deal here. Uh, love to pass through uh, your credit card. Make sure you're going to get this taffy. Make sure you're still alive. Give us a call back at 800 zeros and uh, and uh, we'll get this thing squared away. Hope you will. Goodbye. Uh, Don't a forget. Frequent customer, we also want to give you. <laughs> you Jacob <it> busy. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> say it, Wait, say it are you? Way. Are you say guys? It. You're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? No, I don't. No. Definitely hey. not. Definitely what? not. What were, you gonna, what were you going to say, Bever? Going to just tell them about a coupon code we got going no. on promo here. Use the word October. October. Damn. No. Wait, wait, no. what? Wait, y'all look so upset. Wait, what? Wait. You told him about the code. Well, he's a good customer. What else am I going to do? In Bever's defense, I was about to hit that code pretty hard <laughs> over the head, too. Chico seems to be the only one out of you who has a lick of sense here. For, for. Gosh dang dang, fellas, we've been over this. Ah, uh, oh, the coupon God. code is the whole reason we're in this conundrum I, here. I pray he doesn't call back. But look, while we're waiting, uh, why don't we check out that uh, uh, review? Let's check out the Instagram. Uh, what was his name? It was something fun. Oh, Brian, Brian, Brian Fun, Brian Smiley Fun, face. Smiley Face, one thousand, one thousand. Let's check out his and see uh, uh, if there's a review up. Oh, okay. A recent post here uh, from uh, Brian Fun, and uh, there's a picture of Taffy here, unwrapped and half chewed. It looks like. Oh. And Chico, what does oh, that yeah. say? I don't. Know. Is- wait, wait. Click on his. Click on his stories. Click okay. on the stories. There's a video on the stories. <laughs> okay, here I'm clicking on it. Here, okay. So I got this uh, piece of Taffy. Uh, this is hoisin flavored. It's from the Calvin's, uh, triplets it's from their farm. Never tried it before trying it right now. I'm going to unwrap it and here we go. All right. I wonder what magazine you got. Oh, there's a magazine on it. Oh, oh, good, good. Hustler. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. A little racy, but I'll allow it. And I'm just going to take a bite of the taffy, and I'll give you guys uh, my opinion of it. Thanks. My gosh, the anticipation. He's got real juicy bites. I'm I'm seeing at the top of the screen here, there's about 200 little dashes. I think he takes the full 60 minutes <laughs> to eat this piece let, of Let taffy. me click through. Let we me might. click through. <laughs> okay, I'm just tap. I'll tap hundreds of times here just to fast forward through until I can find one where he's talking. <laughs> tap, 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 it, tap, tap. It's really chewy. It's very... Oh, got one, okay. It really sticks to the molars. It's very oh. chewy. No, um, it's just going back to chewing. Okay, well, let me tap let forward. Let me try through. and get through the... 
Okay, here. No, he's still chewing. No, still chewing. All right. Okay, let's try this. And that was my opinion of the taffy. Oh, let me go back. Let me Rewind go. it. Back tap. Okay. He's still chewing. Let me uh, forward, forward tap. tap forward tap. <laughs> Just twice, though. Wait, oh, no, right I there. did it five That's times. It. This is go it. Go back two. It'll go back two. Say, okay. Guys, I've got to tell you. This is the best taffy I've ever eaten in <gasps> my life. And Whoa. I am recommending to my 750 oh trillion followers. Oh, no, he's turning green. He's sweating. You should, you should buy this taffy. Oh I'm feeling a little bit uh, under oh the no. weather, but that's my opinion of the taffy. He's got 750 trillion followers. Here, let me tap forward a little more. Oh my God, he's dead! Oh wow. no, wow. that's no, unfortunate. He's maybe he's maybe maybe he's napping. Let me tap forward. Oh no, that's no. Oh, oh that is a coroner. No. The coroner's oh, no. come to oh, take him away with a sheet. Wait, oh check, man, turn it off. Check out Gardenia Coroner's Instagram to yeah. see if yeah. he shows up on that. <laughs> okay, let me click over to that. Oh yeah. Lid. All right, uh, we got a John Doe here. We got a John Doe here. Uh, no pulse. Uh, he's got oh, a sign. Do not no. resuscitate. Couple of couple of pieces. He of had candy a DNR. Oh no. Couple of couple of pieces of candy in the pocket here. Uh, suppose you won't mind if I uh, try one of these. Okay. I wonder, I wonder oh, if he reads the hustler. Do um. Oh my. Uh, oh oh my. Yeah, he, <laughs> Is that, that a reaction was, to the candy or the hustler? Oh. That was a new piece. That's a new piece of taffy, so it would have a different magazine. Mm. <laughs> but he he probably won't talk about that though. Oh wow! Oh oh, what's this attached? Oh, I was so excited by the candy, I didn't notice. Better Homes and Gardens Spring Edition. Huh. Oh, good one. Try this candy. Mm. Mm. All right, oh, that's Corner. juicy. Mm. Hope he likes mm. it. <laughs> Tastes like milk. Mm. Mm. Oh, he got a piece of mm. milk. How that's do you get a only, milk flavor? That's one of the, Brian only, Fund that's one of the t- 25. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. I screwed up. I must have thrown a milk in there. God damn it. Can't even get an order of three right. Fast forward this gardenia <laughs> yeah. corner a little bit. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Still chewing. <laughs> Still Almost chewing. done. I see. There's three more, three more dashes. Let me tap one. Oh, okay. Uh, Taffy's done. Um, I appreciate everyone tuning in to check the status of deceased bodies in the Gard- Greater Gardena area. But uh, I just got to take a moment out to uh, to say I've just had the best piece of taffy I've ever had in my life. Um, according to this wrapper, it's from the Calvin's Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch. Um, I'm going to go online right now and I'm going to order, order a piece, uh, for myself. Maybe oh no. For the family. Oh no. Uh, He's turning oh, green too. Oh, I'm here. Uh, oh, yeah. oh I just. <laughs> oh no. And I just. <laughs> um, oh, I just... Horse. Bill, Bill, come in here. Uh, oh, 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 coroner, no. coron thyself. Wow. He goes. And he's got to do not resuscitate. No. Damn. <laughs> oh, he's got it tattooed on his forearm. I can read it right there. <laughs> Oh my I believe God. It. I gotta luck. say, it feels like we are never gonna sell these 750 trillion tons of taffy. Oh, wait, we're what? getting a call. We're getting a call. Hold on. Hello, you're on the line here. Hey, guys, it's Dylan Preachers. Uh, Dylan. Dylan's back. Hey, Dylan. Yeah. Hey, Chico. Bever. Yeah. Scott. Bigsby. Yeah, Bigsby. Uh, it's I, us. I, I, got, I got your message about the order. Listen, I got a little sick, I was a little under the weather. Uh, but I've made a full recovery. It's not a big deal. Go live your lives. Don't live in fear about whatever illnesses may exist in the world. And definitely put through that order because, in fact, you know what? Why don't you add a piece? Because I am that into this taffy. Awesome! Oh my goodness! Yeah. That's the whole order! We're gonna be in the green! Just kidding, guys. Hey, this is Dylan, Pre- Dylan Preaches. If you want to leave a message, just give oh. me your name, number, and a he brief message. Us. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> it's another robocall. <laughs> Damn it! Damn wow, he's, is he he's sending kidding. his outgoing messages to <laughs> why, us? Why is, why is he sending recorded calls just to us? That felt personal. That felt <laughs> intentional. Really, it really did. 
Oh, he my seems God. to know about stuff that has just happened recently. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. he's recording them now. Are, are we sure that Dylan isn't the taffy god just fucking with you guys? Oh, no, man. no way. Well, Scott, do you think that's possible? I, 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 I have no idea. I mean, next time he calls, we should ask him to describe himself. And if he, you know, has the physical parameters of yeah. uh, uh, one of those car dealership inflatable dolls yeah. then maybe that'll be a tip off yeah uh, scott realizes a, an important thing if people pretending to be somebody else always forget to describe their physical selves <laughs> as up. not their actual body it's brilliant that's right <laughs> wait we're getting a call here we're, we're getting another call hey guys yeah, you're on the dylan line Preacher. oh it's dylan hello? hey dylan hello, yeah, hello? Dylan. it's us hey yeah guys. it's us who, uh, who's us uh, this is Bisbee, this is Chico, this is Bever, this is Scott Ackerman. And uh, just quick question, could you describe your, I guess, body? You want me to describe my body? <laughs> yeah, is that okay? This he's can't he's be. reacting you, to Scott the Scott Ackerman are asking in this moment. <laughs> it's got to be real. If I could gotta describe my body. <laughs> got to be real. Yes, please describe your body. Uh, sure thing, I will, because you said please, and I heard it. <laughs> This All would be right. impossible that there's a <laughs> body. Defy, defy the odds. I'm about eight and a half feet tall. I'm about eight <gasps> inches wide. Oh. I am a turquoise blue. Oh. I got fringy, frilly little hair. And my arms <laughs> flap about wildly and often get stuck to whatever they touch. This is the oh. Taffy God. This is the You're Taffy God messing with you. Did you just say that you think I'm the Taffy God? Your yes! Heart. It is me, the Taffy God. Oh I have been messing with you guys. <laughs> you will never get out. Get rid of this 750 trillion tons of Taffy, and I will harass and haunt you for 334 days. I knew this. it was the Taffy God. I knew it was and the Taffy, Taffy God. God. Of course it's the Taffy God. I am the Taffy God, and your souls will be mine. Just killing guys is still in preacher. Go ahead and leave a message after the tone. No! Your name, number, and How did message. he get I'll us get again? Oh, no. Oh. I think he what? said just killing guys, by the way, instead of kidding guys. Just, this, this guy's a trickster. This guy's a trickster. A Freudian slip of all time. That's what they say in Missouri. <laughs> oh, well, gosh, guys, we're we're running out of time on the telethon. Unfortunately. How? I don't know. <laughs> I, know. I don't know if this is going to make a difference, but we just got 750 trillion single orders. What? For one piece. And they all give a hashtag on the order of Brian Fun. <gasps> That's going to make a big difference. Oh, my God. It's all of Brian Fun's followers. They've come on and they're they're. It's like an army of of fun. I that's mean, that's one a, of the hashtags. That's a lot of orders. Do you have 750 trillion horses that you can send out? Scott, you know that we do. <laughs> I, well, I was just kidding. I know you do. Of course you do. <laughs> oh, sure do. you guys are saved. We Bisbee. did it. We All did another it. Day. Uh, just Thank wait God. till those. We'll just wait till those Decca triplets hear about this. <laughs> oh man, I hope we <laughs> never meet them because <laughs> that would be too many people on the show. Don't you agree? <laughs> Way too many. Bisbee. me, Bisbee, me. I got a, I got a pen and paper. Why don't you start reading off the flavors of each individual one of those seven hundred and fifty trillion orders? You got it. Okay. Oh, no. I don't. We don't have time for that. We, uh, you, you guys are going to have to do that after the show. Unfortunately, Water. Started right. We are, we are running out of time. We just have time for one final feature on the show, and that is a little something called plugs. What's your name? What's your address? What are the last four of your social security? Mother's maiden name. The city you were born. All right. That was <laughs> What's Your Name, Blah, Blah, Blah by The Whisper Daddy. Thank you to The Whisper Daddy. Uh, and uh, what a wonderful plugs theme submission that was. And uh, if you want to submit a plugs theme, go ahead and do that. I'm not stopping you. I have no tips or uh, uh, really instructions of how to do that. All right, guys, what are we plugging? Um, obviously, the Calvin's Family Bee Honey Taffy Farm and Horse Fighting Ranch will live to see another day. You've gotten rid of all of your taffy. Now it's there's nothing left but the horse fighting, right? Come on down for some horse fights. Come on down for some bee honey. Bee honey season. Bee honey, right yeah, <laughs> yep. that's right. 
We haven't talked about either of those two things. We've exclusively focused on the taffy today. Thank it's goodness. Taffy season. <laughs> Um, anything else you want to plug? Uh, any of you guys? You know, I've been, I've been, uh, in, in the very limited downtime I have, Scotty. Uh, I've been, I've been checking in on this uh, Twitch, where hmm. people stream their video game experiences, and I gotta say, the Twitch TV page of Tarzan No Z very enjoyable. He does a show Wednesday nights at eight PM where he has people play scary video games while he asks them. Just sort of mundane questions about their life. Interesting. And that's been fun. You can go to twitch.tv backslash Tarzan No Z. Tarzan No Z. All right. Uh, anything else we want to plug, Chico? Uh, anything catch your eye these days? Well, uh, I mean, one thing I've been doing, uh, uh, I've been doing a little bit of legal work. Uh, as you know, I'm a lawyer certified in the state of California. I don't uh, so- remember that, but okay, yeah. Yeah, I said it the first time we met. Oh, okay. (laughs) I think you actually did. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll have to take your word for it at this point. (laughs) It really happened. And I've been doing some, uh, I've been doing a little bit of legal work with uh, Sweet James, uh, attorney uh, at law. And so you can see me in the background of those uh, ubiquitous commercials. Uh, Oh, you can check me out. Uh, it's it's the first time I've been on camera since way way back in the day. Since uh, since uh, we were putting on a giant overcoat and uh, auditioning for all the programs. Oh, that's right. Time, I do remember this. Yes, et cetera, et cetera. So you you'll see me pop up in the background of the sweet sweet James attorney commercial. All right, very good, Bisbee. Anything that you want to plug here? Of course, uh, I'd love to plug just a. Just a little uh, soda aisle over at Ralph's. Uh, hmm. It's a and the, specifically the little generic in the middle. They put the generic soda. So it's I'm not li- a it's not a little aisle. It's uh, a full sized aisle for little sodas. It's a full sized aisle, and then it has that uh, little area where they have the generic. Oh, it's an soda. area within an aisle. Yeah. I just want to say, every when you get a chance, go down there and support your local generic soda uh, area. Very at, good. Ra- at Ralph's. At Ralph's. Very good. At Ralph's. Only at Ralph's. Uh, I want to plug, I heard a rumor uh, that the Comedy Bang Bang television show, which uh, two of you were so nice to appear on, um, is, has migrated over to AMC+. Plus. I guess all episodes are streaming over there. Now, just one person has told me that. I don't know any of the details regarding AMC+. Plus. Uh, no one has contacted me about this to let me know anything about it or to give me any kind of courtesies, information, uh, nor a free subscription so I could check in uh, anytime I need to do research on those old episodes, which comes up occasionally. But um, that is a rumor, so go ahead and check that out. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. You start with a C when you want to close it up. You lead with an L. And then you open up the plug bag. Open up the plug bag. Take your hand and open it up. Then Horatio comes and then he just says, Been holding on my life till in the day. Guys, I want to thank you so much. Uh, Chico, Bever, Bisbee, three of the best here. Always wonderful to check in with you. We love to be here. Love to see here. Love to love to clear here. Love to flee here. Love to she here. Love to tea here. Fantastic. And Chico, always great to see you, obviously. Fantastic, Scotty. So wonderful to see you and hear your voice. And Bisbee, uh, the recent addition to the clan, it's good to see you. I've been hoping uh, there's a financial turn of tide soon for all of us, but specifically me. 
Unfortunately, you received none of that money from the taffy that was just sold. Not a penny. Not a penny. <laughs> but at least you don't have to pay for all the losses this year. So I actually do. Um, that's part of the. I take care of all the the downfall. Sure. So, but I guess there won't be as many losses unless, for some weird reason, you've already started making another seven hundred and fifty trillion tons of taffy. Well, it doesn't make sense to get into that right now, but. <laughs> That's a road I've danced down before. <laughs> okay, well, um, and next time we talk, we certainly won't be hearing from the Decker sisters uh, and their Hornet Honey and oh, Caramel Farm not. and Pig Farm and Ranch. No, we, we, we won't. A bad move. Uh, 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 has the the matriarch Marsha Brandy has uh, she passed on at this point? Uh, y- yeah, yeah. Along with your father, together. Together, really? Wait, we were they found their bodies in a cardboard box behind the stable? Mm-hmm. Like, like those bodies that uh, at Pompeii that were intertwined, <laughs> exactly like those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so they here's were... what's crazy: is that the cardboard was untouched, but they had turned to ash somehow <laughs> oh inside the box. Mm-hmm. And so began the family conflict of the Calvins and Decker's uh, animosity. That's how it began upon their very death. Well, we don't have time to get into that, obviously. I uh, do. Biz- uh. <laughs> I, unfortunately, I mean, the show doesn't have time for that. I Biz- see, I see. Bisby, you've been stirring up cauldrons of taffy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been watching you. Please don't make a surplus. Nope. This at, this so, point, uh, at this point, it's worth risking the rejection of and the sad faces of these families who come to the farm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just barely scraped by out of the, a precarious situation. You know, just to let you know how you can help right now is by just offering me some new flavors if you got them, because we got a lot of taffy here. We got to fill with flavor. (laughs) Okay, look, we don't have time for that. Uh, Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. And remember, when you pop open a pint of Netflix and chilled ice cream, you can experience the magic of things that go perfectly together. With the perfect mix of peanut butter intrigue, pretzel drama, and fudge brownie belly laughs, Netflix and Chilled pairs well with any of your Netflix originals. Stock up for your next Netflix night anywhere ice cream is sold or find a new favorite at BenJerry.com. That is B-E-N-J-E-R-R-Y dot com. 